Hi guys, welcome to this session in a Microsoft project. In this module, I want to show you the difference between critical task, displaying like that, Slack, showing Slack in a project, and late, how you get them to color up like that, or why they would color up like that. So I'm gonna create a new plan just to replicate this. Control N for new, new file. Let's get the Gantt chart zoomed in a little bit. Going up AA and change that to size 14. And I'll just do a few tasks. So project A task one, task two, task three, and task four I'll do. Okay, let's just indent these. Go back to tasks, indent them in. And let's give some duration. So let's say two, three, five, and leave it on one. So there's my task. Now I want to set the project is starting today, which is the 29th. If I go up to change that and go to project information and set that back a week. So 22nd, that was the start time. Now, if I click on this, Gantt chart format option, you've got these three little ticky boxes. If I go critical, it's only going to show you the one that is critical because it's the longest one. All of these are showing blue because they can go on in any period between this one. Now, if I reduce that duration, that will affect that. If I put that to one day, for example, now these, these other ones become critical. I'll just put it back to five. So that's how that works. Critical. Now, Slack will just show you how much time each task has got before it hits the end of the project. So at the moment, this five day task, this whole project is five days. You can see it there. The whole project is five days. So this one has got Slack, four days of Slack before it affects the end of the project. If I change the duration to three days on that, you can see that it impacts that. And if I change that up to seven days say that then becomes critical and you can see that this is now has now got its slack line showing now late tasks all of these are late because it's set to last week the 22nd whereas today is the 29th if i change this task to the 29th i won't um have a link on it it's gone red because it's critical. If I take the critical tick off, it's showing blue, it is not black. It's not showing it as a late task. I still got the slack lines on there. Now, if I save a baseline project, set baseline, just the first baseline, okay. So now I've got a baseline set there. Now, if I go back to this and show that baseline, you can see if I, if I show slippage of that baseline, there's no slippage because all of these are going on time. But if I then do a sort of link, go back to tasks and link these, so they're all linked, you start seeing lines now because there's movement. Now you can't actually see the baseline. If I go to baseline there, take that baseline off, those are the markers look, put the baseline back on, see how it's moved off of the baseline if i go to slippage slippage is on take that off you can see the slippage there it's showing you the the line behind so where it was if you take the baseline off you can see the arrow by itself there which is quite easy to identify and if you want to if you see lines like this you can point to them it tells you what it is if you still can't see it you can double click into this area and all the indicators markers will be listed here and you can see what it's meant to be come, come down there loads and loads of different lines there's the slippage one and you can add your own i've got videos um, showing you how to add your own markers if you so wish cancel that off so that's all i want to talk about in this little video what are the differences between the critical slack and late tasks and a quick look at baseline and slippage so hopefully that was of use Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.